My seven longest lasting designer fragrances for the summer. Bad Boy Cabalt by Carolina Herrera. This is very woody and aromatic with a beautiful plum note. As it dries down, it becomes a bit more earthy. So this could be worn pretty much any season. It's not necessarily a spring summer fragrance, but you could certainly wear it in the high heat. This lasts a long time and I think Carolina Herrera are a very underrated fragrance house. And most of their fragrances are high quality, and really fun to wear. Number six from Amaf Club de Nuit Intense Pure Parfum. This is the longest lasting Club de Nuit in the, in the collection, the Pure Parfum version. Does smell similar to Adventus, about 80% similar for a much cheaper price. Now this one doesn't have the screechy opening that the EDT has. It's much more well-rounded, a bit smoother, and actually a bit sweeter in the base notes as well. I wouldn't recommend buying a Ventus to anyone. I don't think you get good value for money, and you can get 80% of the way there with this. And it doesn't matter what you're wearing, because people are gonna still recognize this as a very nice smelling fragrance when they smell it on you. Number five, another divisive fragrance. This is Sauvage EDP. Probably my favorite Sauvage, apart from the Elixir, of course, but that's a different fragrance entirely. This one is very fresh with bergamot, pepper, ambroxin. I've actually been experimenting a lot with ambroxin myself in making my own fragrance. I have some ambroxin here, and it smells very ambery, woody, and almost a little bit animalic, but it's certainly something you can pick out in fragrances that it's in, and I pick it out certainly in Sauvage EDP. It gives this carry, and it's gonna give it a lot of projection. I know a lot of people wear this, and it might seem that you're wearing the same fragrance as everyone else, but in my opinion, not a lot of men actually wear fragrances, and you need to, Think about where you're living. So if everyone at your school, your college, your workplace, your friend group are wearing Sauvage, get something else, buy something else from this list. But if you don't know anyone wearing Sauvage, there's no reason why you can't wear it. It's a great smelling fragrance, lasts all day. Number four from Yves Saint Laurent, YEDP. Certainly the best in the YSL Y line in terms of performance and in terms of value for money. This contrasts light notes with dark notes. So you've got a very fruity, aromatic opening and then you've got darker, sweeter notes as it dries down. Beautiful apple, sage, lavender, mixed with a beautiful tonka bean. So it's very fresh, juicy, and sweet all at the same time. I sprayed this on my shirt a few months ago, and I wore it a few days later, and it smelled like I just put the shirt on again. It really projected, so we get great longevity projection, and it's one of those easy to grab fragrances you have in your collection, which you can wear to any occasion, and you know you're gonna smell good, and you know that the fragrance is gonna last all day. Number three from Paco Rabanne. This is Invictus Legend. I realize this might be discontinued now, so I do recommend that you try and buy it when you can. This is the longest lasting Invictus. It does smell very similar to the original, but this is much more ambery and sweet in the dry down. The sweetness is not enough to make this not a fresh fragrance. It's still a fresh marine fragrance through and through. It just has a bit of sweetness and amber to give it much more longevity. This lasts ages on my skin, and it's one of those fragrances that people notice on you and does pull in compliments because people can actually smell it. Number two, again from Paco Rabanne, One Million Parfum. Now, this is the only one million I would say that you could wear in the summer. That's because this smells like sexy suntan lotion. It's very salty, and it smells like you're laying on the beach with salty skin putting on that suntan lotion. This has sonar notes, which just smell like the sun. It just smells like you are on the beach and you've got that sun on your skin with the suntan lotion and you're having a great time on vacation. That's how this smells to me. Very long lasting, but I would recommend you try it because this has a heavy tuberose note, which certainly in men's fragrances is quite rare and it might be a bit off-putting for you. But a long lasting fragrance for the summer in the designer market, one million parfum. And finally, we go to the most hyped up fragrance in the summer at the moment, that is Rosasi Hawass. There's a good reason why this is so hyped up. It's because it's very long lasting, ultra fresh, smells great, pulls in loads of compliments. Be careful of the price of this because it has been rising steadily over the past few months. I'm paying about 70 pound per bottle at the moment for 100 mil. I still think that's a good price because most of these fragrances we've, we've looked at, apart from Club de Nuit, will be more expensive. And this one, you're getting a longer lasting fragrance than any of these. Smells very, very pleasant, easy to wear, fresh, fruity, marine-like, aquatic. And it's uh, just a great fragrance to have in your collection because it's so long lasting, smells great, and you can get it for a good price. So if you can get this still for a decent price, this would be my number one choice for the summer, a fresh, Easy to wear fragrance, it's good value and lasts ages.